What's going on everybody, it's the Indoor Hunter and if you're struggling to find your first diamond or diamonds in general, hopefully this video will be for you. Now, I wanna get this out of the way. I'm not exactly the best at making guide videos, but here we are trying it anyway. Um, so let's get started. I wanna make this short, sweet, to the point. Um, when it comes to finding diamonds, it's unfortunately three parts luck, one part skill. There's a lot that you can do to help yourself out, but at the end of the day, it is ultimately up to the RNG gods of whether or not it's gonna spawn a diamond. Now, like I said, there are some things that you can do to help kinda of move this process along, and we'll get into that now. So obviously the best way to find diamonds is to get out there and literally find them. Now I understand that's a lot easier said than done, but it's important to go out, find what you have on your map. Something else that's very important, you can see on the top right here, we've got an estimation of weight and a trophy score estimation. This is something that is super important to begin uh, getting familiar, especially with the animals that you enjoy to hunt. Get familiar with what their trophy ratings are what diamond scores are because some species for example we've got a level three rocky mountain elk i know for a fact he's not a diamond i'm not too worried about him if we end up ruining him for whatever reason not gonna worry about it i'm not even sure if we hit that guy he's actually down right there that's might actually be the first time i've ever killed something that well with this muzzle loader i digress though um it is so so important to be able to have this skill knowing weights, knowing trophy sizes. That way, at a quick glance, you can tell whether or not an animal is gonna make it. So if we look over here, we've got track knowledge, which is super, super important to have, along with connect the dots. This is gonna help you track animals. Um, and then the locate tracks here, this is very easy or very important to have as well, just so it's easier uh, to track. But uh, we're gonna go find some tracks here and we'll talk about when I'm, uh, discussing here as far as the track knowledge and all that stuff uh, because again you may see let's say for example and and this is clearly an example i'm not sure that level four um rocky mountain elk can make diamond five medium are the max trophy or max size for rocky mountain elk but for example um i know that level four moose for example can make diamond However, you may not realize it's a diamond potential animal if you don't know those trophy scores. That's something, start doing your homework, start researching it. There's plenty of guides out there, uh, websites that show this stuff. There's even an app if you got Android. I use it constantly because there's so many animals in the game. It's obviously difficult to know all of those trophy ratings. Uh, unless, of course, you're a superhero and can remember all that stuff. I unfortunately cannot, so I've got to reference that app constantly to make sure I'm not looking at a diamond potential animal. So as you can see, we've got some tracks here. I'm not exactly sure what they are. It is a male Merriam turkey. Now, because I know off the top of my head what the max weight is, which is nine to 11 kilograms, I know that there's no chance that this animal is a diamond. So I'm not even gonna worry about it. We're not gonna track him down. That said, if you have the disturbed vegetation perk unlocked, you can check it if you want to to make sure it's a rare fur type or not. Uh, obviously that's not what this video is about. It's about finding diamonds. Now for myself, some of the best ways that I've actually found diamonds is to simply run around your map, check every single track, make sure they're not max weights. And then when you do find a max weight track, that's when the hunt begins. You follow it down, find where it's at. And hopefully at the end of the trail, you've got yourself a diamond. Now, obviously, uh, diamonds are rare so I would say eight out of ten times you're gonna end up with a next to max level animal um, but there's that off chance it is going to be a diamond so it's very important especially if you're playing multiplayer because at that point you really don't know what's gonna be at the end of the line follow those tracks make sure you can find them uh, the second best way what in the world is going on here the second best way to find those diamonds is Again, put it in the work, finding all your need zones, especially for those animals that you're interested in. Hunt the drink times because it's so much easier to see them. That way, like we're doing here, I can just kind of scan this herd. It's nothing but females. I don't see a single male here. It's a huge herd of females, by the way. I'm kind of disappointed there aren't any males, but uh, we can move right along. Don't have to waste time with these guys. 
continue on to the next. Now, that's more like a grind, but at the same time, in between areas, as you're walking through your map, check those tracks, make sure they're not max weights, because um, statistically, there's at least one diamond minimum on everyone's map at all times. Now, it could be a little teeny tiny rabbit or a golden eye duck flying overhead, but this is why it's important to check those tracks and make sure because somewhere is a diamond. Uh, as I said, if you're if you're looking for your very first one, um, dependent on where you're at level wise, I personally wouldn't get too much invested into hunting diamonds. If you're not max level yet, I would continue to focus on trying to get max level just so you can unlock more perks, stuff like that. Get familiar with the game because obviously when you finally do come across that diamond animal, you don't want to screw up a shot. You want to know where to shoot, all that stuff, all those basics. Now, as you get used to doing all this, you know, gaining track knowledge, knowing the weights of your animals, the trophy scores of your animals, and even at some point, once you get good enough, you're going to be able to see a rack and instantly recognize it as being a diamond. Um, that actually is kind of primarily how I identify my diamonds nowadays is whenever I see a certain rack, I'll know instantly it's a diamond. Um, now, obviously, those control, but... Again, that's something you've got to practice on your own. Hopefully you're lucky enough you can find your diamond that's on your map. And uh, whenever you see it, hopefully you don't mistake it for a different type of animal and disregard it as being a diamond. Because again, that's why it's so important to have that track knowledge available. But I think we're going to do a quick little run through here on Silver Age Peaks. I am interested in finding a diamond elk. There is no guarantee that I have one, but I will show you guys what I would do in this situation if I want to find a diamond elk. So the first thing that I'm going to do if I'm targeting a specific species, we're going to change time to that species drink time, which as I've said is Rocky Mountain Elk. They drink from 5 to 8 a.m. I'm going to go ahead and change it to about 6. That way in theory they should already be in their need zones drinking actively and it gives us a little bit of wiggle room to go explore several different waterways here. Um, Again, my favorite way of finding diamonds though, it's a little bit harder to do, but it's simply just to walk around your map, come across those max weight tracks because it's the most exciting to me. Um, but again, if you're targeting a very specific species, this is the way to do it. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything. Well, it's not a diamond, but that appears to be an albino female. Let's go, hello little guy there um, again this is kind of a divergence from the main theme of the video here but we do have a rare let's go take it out we've got the Olsen 308 that should be more than capable taking this guy out or girl I should say she is going down so let's get over there and see if it actually is an albino now on the way over we've got all right, I just spotted this for easy. He is a max weight bighorn sheep. However, looking at his trophy score, I know for a fact that he is not a diamond. So I'm not going to worry about trying to get over there and shooting him. Uh, that said, again, the best way to get diamonds to spawn is to shoot all those animals. That way they have a chance to respawn. So I would definitely, I would still shoot it. Um, if we weren't making this video, I would probably pop him and get him. But, uh, that being said, I, I know for a fact he's not a diamond, so I'm not going to get too stressed about him. All right, we finally tracked her down, and she is, in fact, an albino. So we got a rare as a shoo-in for the video. However, we're after diamonds. Again, I don't think we're going to find one, and this isn't going to be a full-blown hunt either. I'm just going to go search around real quick. If I find one, we'll include it. If I don't, well, you won't see a diamond. Um, that said though, again, that is basically what I do nine times out of 10. I'll go find all their drink zones. Um, it's a fairly straightforward process. However, again, the likelihood of a diamond actually standing there is fairly low. They are pretty rare. Well, unfortunately, I was unable to locate any diamond Rocky Mountain elk, but nine times out of 10, that's how a hunt goes. I don't want anyone to get discouraged watching videos like mine or anyone else's uh, where they're always posting diamonds and stuff like that. It takes a lot of time and effort to get to those. Stick with it and you will find yours eventually. Just a quick takeaway, kind of summarize everything here. Most important, 
learn those max weights, learn those trophy scores. It's gonna make finding diamonds much, much easier. Find your need zones. That way you can start honing in where your animals are. And lastly, there is no real way to cheese diamonds. However, there are some diamonds that are much, much easier to find and get than others. That list includes white-tailed deer. Um, those are somewhat common, I should say. Um, if you had to ask me what the easiest diamond in the world to get, it's absolutely blue wildebeest over on Varanga Savannah. Um, it feels like every time I'm on Varunga, I happen to find one of those. Um, again, I wouldn't say they're super common. Um, they're just a lot easier to find. Level 4 wildebeest are much more likely to make diamond uh, than not. So get out there, get hunting. Again, don't get, get discouraged if you don't have a diamond yet because it'll come with time. Um, again, and another kind of misconception is a lot of people think that because they're lower levels, diamonds don't spawn. That is not true at all. Um, I think that comes from beginner players not understanding, you know, trophy scores, stuff like that. You definitely have diamonds on your map. It's just you've got to take the time to go out and find them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more stuff like this, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.